So it's not every day that I come out and review bikes, but I've been riding this thing for the past couple of days, the QJ Motors SRK 400. But the problem is that the segment that this thing competes in, well, it has this thing over here, the all-conquering Duke 390. So today I wanted to know, can the newcomer actually go hand-to-hand -hand in terms of combat with the veteran in the segment? Welcome back to the Drivers Hub. This is Upshift and this over here is the QJ Motors SRK 400. I want to tell you one thing is that I actually prefer the SRK 400 over the Duke 390. Now, as ridiculous as that might sound, there is some sort of justification behind that statement. Well, first of all, I'm not some sort of a hardcore biker. I'm not a biker at all. If I do ride a bike, I ride it pretty slowly and I like to enjoy the experience of riding the bike rather than setting the fastest lap time at the track or going knee down on every sort of corner that I see. In that case, the Duke is literally the better bike in each and every sort of way compared to the SRK400. It handles better, it is probably the faster bike, it is much more sharper and overall, I'm not denying it, the Duke 390 is the better bike compared to the SRK400. But there is just something special about this bike that I can't really put my finger on and that makes me really, really enjoy this bike. And 90% of that special feeling does come from this thing over here the engine of the SRK400. I'll come back to that later. Now let's quickly talk about the looks of these bikes. Now, you already know that the Duke 390 looks absolutely insane. It's almost like an insect-like figure. The front end looks super aggressive with these headlights. You can see the trellis frame on the side. You know, it's just a very aggressive and a very appealing looking motorcycle. Now, the QJ motors, well, it's a little bit of a hit or a miss in some areas. Front end, I love. The rear end I love but on the side I think it looks a little weird especially because of the stickering that uh, QJ Motors has applied to the bike. Not a big fan of the stickers but overall it's a pretty handsome looking bike. You can see that it takes a lot of cues from Triumphs and Kawasaki's especially in the front end. I'm not complaining about the looks, it looks pretty decent but now let's talk about the stuff that really matters and that's the engine. Now one of the main reasons I like the SRK over the Duke 390 is because of this thing over here. This is a 400cc twin cylinder engine and it sounds absolutely glorious once you start giving it the beans. Now the Duke 390 has an ongoing joke that it sounds like an auto rickshaw and yeah that is true to some sort of an extent but this uh, engine over here does not sound like an auto rickshaw by any means. In fact, it sounds like a mini super bike and I've driven a lot of twin cylinder engine uh, bikes over the years and this sounds completely different. It's on a different playing field when you start comparing it to bikes like the Duke 390. Now, I'm not disagreeing to the fact that the Duke 390 is the faster bike and it for sure must be but being fast is one thing and enjoying your bike is a different thing and this definitely has more enjoyment when it comes to that. Now yes, these bikes in terms of performance, there's not much in them. The Duke makes 43 bhp and 37 newton meters of torque. This thing makes 40 bhp and 37 newton meters of torque. And yeah, it is going to be slower than the Duke. And yes, it might have one extra cylinder. But again, being fast is not the only thing that you should care about when it comes to motorcycles. The Duke just does not compare to the SRK400 when it comes to sound and the feel of the engine. Now coming to the suspension and braking of both the bikes, well again the Duke 390 is the superior one. Now let's quickly talk about the brakes. So the front discs on the Duke 390 are 320mm and the QJ has 260mm uh, front rotors, a pretty big difference but if you look at the front rotors of the QJ, they look really really cool because of the petal design that they have whereas the 390's front disc well they look pretty 
normal in that sense coming to the rear brakes this has 230 mm rear brakes and this has a 240 mm rear brake so rear brakes are a little bigger on the SRK uh, coming to the suspension well uh, the QJ uh, when it comes to the rear suspension has a mono shock but it is a side aligned mono shock as you can see over here right behind my leg and it reminds me of like the older ninja 650s and i think it looks really really cool whereas again the 390 has a more conventional setup with a normal mono shock uh, mounted to the middle of the bike both bikes come with upside down forks at the front and the duke 390 seems to be a little bit more stiff and a little bit more rough when it comes to its ride quality and that's basically how uh, ktm is able to achieve the performance and the handling that the duke is known for i'm not complaining because it's a precision uh, tool in that sense the duke 390 whereas the srk 400 it's a little bit more forgiving it is more softer when it comes to bumps and uneven roads and it is definitely the more comfortable bike now coming to the uh, seating position of both of the bikes i don't really enjoy either i mean my buttocks kind of hurt on the srk 400 as well as my wrists you have a lot of pressure on your wrists uh, and the duke 390 well it just feels like you're on top of the bike rather than you being inside or with the bike so and the foot peg placement of the duke 390 again it's not my favorite again with the srk 400 the foot peg placement is not that good but that's just a little trade off for two amazing motorcycles both bikes are equipped with dual channel abs but again the srk 400's dual channel abs seems to be a little bit more intrusive when it comes to you riding it hard on some twisty corners now another place where the duke 390 shines compared to the srk 400 is with the instrument cluster side of things this instrument cluster has a lot of information and it's very detailed and the animations graphics everything are very very nice one little complaint that i have is that the tachometer is a little laggy but that's just a little small complaint you have a lot of things that you can do inside the instrument cluster turn off abs traction control you have super motor mode you can put it into dark mode you know bluetooth connect Activity, it has the works but when you compare it to this thing over here this is a much more normal instrument cluster in that sense it doesn't have a lot of information you just have your tachometer your speedometer and that's basically it yes you do have a gear indicator but that's basically it you can't do anything else with the SRK 4 on its instrument cluster and that's where it falls short just by a little bit but i do like the sense that it's very analog and you don't have any sort of distractions when you actually want to ride When it comes to the riding experience, me personally, I really enjoyed it. I am no hardcore rider like I said and the engine of the SRK 400 sounds absolutely glorious. It sounds basically like a super bike and has enough grunt for quick overtakes. The power band is very linear and for sure sounds miles better than the Duke 390. The chassis feels light and nimble, surprisingly considering the SRK 400 weighs 15 to 20 kilos heavier than the Duke 390 and it hides its bulk very elegantly. Some places where it probably falls short is it isn't as sharp as the Duke 390 when it comes to corners nor as explosive in its acceleration. But this trade-off gives the SRK 400 some really comfy suspension which is great in a city like Pune where roads are almost non-existent. For a newbie like me who doesn't scrape his knees into every corner nor is trying to be the next Rossi, the SRK 400 is a great mixture of sound and comfort. Now both of these motorcycles are amazing machines and as you all know the Duke 390 is a proper weapon once you start going 10 tenths with the bike whereas the SRK 400 it's a more chilled out bike but the soundtrack of this engine is truly something special in this segment. Now yes the SRK 400 has almost 60,000 
thousand rupees more expensive than the good old Duke 390. Is that justified? Well, that's something that's up to you. Do you want something that's very precise, very sharp and very purpose built like the Duke 390 or do you want something that's a little laid back but sounds absolutely amazing once you start giving it the beans? In my opinion, I would definitely choose the SRK400 and no, this is not some sort of a paid commercial or anything for QJ Motors. In fact, I did not even know much about QJ Motors as a brand before this uh, motorcycle had turned up to our office. So definitely the SRK400 will be my choice compared to the Duke because of the type of person and my likings and my choices in life. So I would definitely choose a bike that sounds brilliant instead of a bike that is super aggressive and super purpose built. This is brilliant but I like this. You know someone really famous who said that. So. That basically sums up my video for the QJ SRK400. I think it's a brilliant bike and you should not shy away from it just because it's from a brand that is not very well known in India. They have some really amazing products on sale so do check them out and let us know in the comments down below what do you think of these two motorcycles. Do you think the SRK400 stands a chance against this thing over here, the Duke 390? Comment all of that in the comment section down below. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram. I will catch you in the next one.